Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey with Skinny Fat Duck. And I've got a couple of things to go over as we hop back into the continuing adventures of Sam Order Bridges. First, I had to clear my throat awkwardly. First off, I am having some technical difficulties with the webcam. Um, so you're not going to have to look at me for a bit. Which is fine. I think that works out better for everybody. But number two, um, I wanted to say that we are going to hop back into Death Stranding. Um, because no one demanded it. Here, here's the deal. Here's where I'm at with this game. I think this game has some incredibly cool ideas. I think that it does some pretty fascinating stuff overall. Like, the way it kind of plays with asynchronous multiplayer and all this kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty doggone nifty. Here's my problem. It's extremely, like, mechanics heavy. And just being honest, um, I like the mechanics, but it's not... I don't know, it's not the same as the other Kojima games that I've been so into. But anyway, long story a bit less long. I'm going to hop back in and... I just decided to cheat my way through the rest because I want to see where the story goes. So, that may be a thing that you're against. I mean, realistically, I don't know who all is watching these videos at this point anyway. But, I'm just kind of tired of I won't say I'm tired of the game. Uh, but it's kind of lost a bit of its appeal. So, instead of making it to where I'm having to continue to do the same thing over and over again and fighting with different things, I don't have to worry about BTs. I really just want to see what happens with the story. And I know there are you know, videos and that kind of stuff you can find, but I don't know. I kind of want to see it. So, here we go. First off, check this out. Activation. Yeah. I don't know what just happened. My screen just freaked out um, on my other one, but I guess that's okay. Um, let's see. He is that way. I'm going to... It's been a second since I've played this game. That's another thing. I also took some time off um, from this because it was about all I could stand. Alright, we did something with that guy. Uh, here we go. So yeah, that's where we're at, guys. We are doing this the wrong way, but at the end of the day, and then what games is about? It's about a challenge, and it's about you know circumventing things. Sometimes, it's about just having a good time. If you're not having a good time, why are you doing it? Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to go up that way. Let's unspeed that up a little bit. There we go. Alright, so that, uh, apparently the hotkey to make that happen is the same thing that makes uh, OBS go into full screen. I did not realize that. Now I know. 
All right, we did it. <laughs> they said cheaters never win. Pshaw. Super jump. I guess I can go over his house, or I can go up the stairs. Man, the stairs sound like a better idea to me. Not sure what y'all think. So we have missed a bit that's happened in the story. Uh, because I had some had some video issues. I may still be having video issues. I don't know. We'll find out. But regardless, I couldn't begin to tell you what happened. Um, this is the weirdest thing that I've ever played. A shared memory chip data. Sam looks a little cold. That's sweet of you, Sam. Thank you, dear. Thank you All right. What orders do we have? Uh, you know what? Let's do a bot deliverable one. Um, let's do a coffee making kit and pre-stranding medical texts. Don't really care. Just want to get it done. I'll skip that because who cares? Y'all may care. I don't know. of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Okie dokie. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb. Especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. I mean, we just talked about it. Trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Order assigned. All right. Let's see. So we got the paleontologist. Uh, 
That's about the same. That's a long way away. Alright, I guess maybe the paleontologist makes the most sense. So that's where we'll head first. We'll run into the wrong side of the door. That's a good start. Thanks, pal. We can like this smiley face. Weapons restrictions lifted. That is a perfect place for a bridge. Well, I meant to pick that up, but we're not going to turn around. We're just going to keep right on trucking. Keep right on trucking up this hill. So I wonder if the snow is not a time fall thing. You know what I mean? Like you get rained on and you get older like crazy fast. It's like the snow would do the same thing. More BTs. <laughs> Wish they'd leave me alone. Just some special cuisine. You're okay, baby. It's all right. Listen. We'll be okay, buddy. I forgot about cutting the umbilical cord. There we go. What now? Yeah. See, apparently you got handcuffs that you can use to cut the umbilical cord of a BT, which I don't understand. But that's the thing that I got when I was not streaming this. So, that's a different way to fight somebody. should be nearing our destination. Here's the other thing. This is the big thing with the the cheat engine thing that I'm doing. I just run down that mountain. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of terrain issues that uh, you know while are kind of nifty. Not exactly the most engaging from a gameplay perspective, at least for me.
So anyway, here we are doing it this way. Got more weight on our back. I don't know why I went that way. I should just go down here. This looks like a path down. Kind of. I'm just going to fall down this mountain probably. That'll be good. Yep, here we go. That's low roar. There we are. Per perfect. Let's <laughs> have some more. <clears throat> See how much easier that was? That was great. That was great. Much appreciated, friend. Yeah, buddy. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all. Though I can't for the life of me imagine how. You still asked me to do it, though. I mean, I feel like you guys are impressed by me doing what you asked me to do. You can set up the Cairo network while I work. Thanks. We've all seen that. We got a new strand established. Thanks, paleontologist. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. Of course you do. Porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? Language. He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another yeah. one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close, so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Okay, dope. Good work. New order available. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. All right.
now we got our mask on. So we have, let's see. Photographers that way. Paris Camp, Mountain Nut City. Mountaineer. It's winter clothes. I guess that is probably... Yeah, that's probably it right there. Let's check on Lou. Alright. Was it just snowing here? I'm very curious to see how they explain the different portions of the asynchronous multiplayer. Like, the fact that you're a porter running around just talking to other porters that are the same dude. I mean, I know that's not 100% the case. It's kind of an oversimplification, but... No, I don't think I will shift weight left. I don't worry about that anymore. <laughs> I have cheats! Alright, that's enough of me talking about that. I'm sorry. No, that's not it. Where am I going? I lost my... There we go. I keep getting things about cargo being lost that I don't remember having. I don't know why I'm not just using a ladder, but at this point, I've gone this far with this. I feel like I'm committed. geologist and uh, maybe call it a day. I thought I had a thing. Let's offload that. I don't know. 
Hmm. All right, well, whatever. This is a very dramatic setting down of a uh, garbage. This game definitely doesn't seem to be uh, anti-pollution or littering, I guess. Well, I guess everybody's got their own priorities. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. You sound fun. Visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. A uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here, it's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Yeah, man. Let's skip that. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought the geologist was the guy I was getting the ammonite from. But don't you just look like Star Trek? Just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelium readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Chirelium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, You've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Well, we did it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like. Consider subscribing. Uh, I am going to try and just 
wrap up Death Stranding at some point because uh, it is so doggone weird. I want to I want to see where it goes. Um, so hopefully you'll stick around from that. But anyway, again, my name is Corey with SkinnyFatDuck. We'll see you next time.